Fay Lee, and I have a longer name and I'm no longer called that because Faith Lee fits in a small spot when I'm signing my paintings. I've been in the gallery since uh, 2016. Uh, they were in another location and I just came over with them when they, um, when they moved here. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your inspiration? Oh, uh, I grew out from town and I suppose that nature is my, in, my uh, inspiration. But I got started very young when I was, um, I could, I could draw and paint or color before I knew my numbers and my letters. So I've been doing this for a long time. It's, uh, it's tough to say, um, flowers are, are one of my inspirations. We had a lot of flowers in the yard and we would, uh, I just drew whatever I saw. And so when you um, are picking what to uh, paint, um, is, there, is it because something struck you out in nature or is it um, you're looking at certain colors? What kind of motivates that, that initial, oh, I think I want to paint that? What kind of helps you decide that? As you can see, I like red. I like doing poinsettias, <laughs> red roses. Uh, you put red in it and I've got it. Um, but sometimes I'm in class and I, I had a teacher in Montgomery who took a lot of photographs and she traveled a lot and she let us use her photographs to uh, paint things by. But I also could make up a lot of things um, and just right out of my head. I, I know what a tree looks like and I know what, um, what an apple looks like and such. But she impressed upon me that I really, if I was doing a flower that I didn't know, that I needed to see the flower itself mm -hmm. to find out the inner workings of that flower. Tell us a little bit about people you've taken classes from or people that you consider mentors in developing your art. First class I took, we were living in New York at the time. And he was a, um, I was taking continuing education classes and he gave it for, for three months. And he mostly, the first class, he showed us what he did. And he um, set up, did a setup with flowers and such. And um, it, it was interesting because all of the other people in the class already had, were working on something. And I wasn't. This was my first experience with having, taking classes. And then when I moved back to Alabama, uh, I, I was the one that always made the posters for the groups that we were in. But now she was the type of person who, she would set up something that she liked to take your brush and paint on your painting, but I wouldn't let her. I would hide my brush behind my back. And so she would get in there, she had long fingernails, and she'd get in there and she would tell me how to do it. She says, if you'd just give me your brush, I'd show you. I said, nope, not that, you know. So uh, when her brother was, uh, lived in Washington State, and he would come down occasionally and give workshops, and I learned a lot about seascapes from him, because, but that was, again, was a different seascape than I grew up with. Mm -hmm. In Washington, on the coast, they have rocks, and they have big waves, and they have uh, uh, different kinds of birds, different, uh, they hardly have any sand that he painted anyway. A, uh, one of the students in the class asked him to show us how to paint the sand down on the Gulf, and, he, and she was explaining it to him, and he says, Sand is not that white. She says, next week I'll bring you a, a jar of white sand and show you how white it is. And she <laughs> did, and he believed her. On other classes, uh, I would take workshops sometimes on um, how to, uh, we'd start on one side, put all the colors that were in our, in our palette, and begin on this side and come and add something every time. And so, see what we could do with the colors that we had. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing, you know, you get to the middle and they'd all gray out and you'd have things that had orange tinge, maybe a pink tinge, uh, but you, if you saw it by itself, it looked gray. Mm, interesting. Uh, I took uh, classes in uh, charcoal and how to do portraits. I also, from this, um, from the lady who traveled a lot, she was, I had her the longest as a, uh, as a teacher. And she would have, um, in the morning, she would have portrait classes. And then that night, she would paint what you want and she would put up a, um, a setup with flowers or something mm -hmm. when she had cats. 
and they liked to jump up and sit with the flowers until they saw that you were painting them and then they would get right, out of the exactly. way. Right, exactly. So what you needed to do was bring a camera and take a picture of the, uh, the setup with yeah. the cat in it. So the subject matter, I go from, from one thing to another. I like to learn how to do everything. And, uh, Tell us a little bit about what you like in the art industry and what you don't like in the art industry. Uh, the thing I like about it is that it's something that I can do that most of the people I know can't do. And I, that's the reason I love working in the gallery is because I come in contact with other artists and they have ideas um, and I take different classes and all that. Um, painting is a way of expressing yourself and I'm, I don't have dark days so all of my paintings are happy and uh, pretty and all that. Uh, I, when I lived down south, I painted paintings with white sand and seagrass. Uh, I moved up here, I had to start painting seascapes with tan sand and um, rocks. I also had to learn how to paint um, puffin and moose. But I had to learn, and to learn how to paint mountains and such. Uh, I am from Alabama and it has, it's a, a long way from the top to the bottom. And at the top of Alabama you have mountains and you, you just sort of work your way down south until you get to the Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. So um, there's quite a lot of subject matter to, uh, to see in Alabama. Uh, and there's quite a lot to see in New Hampshire too. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us which of your paintings is your favorite? Okay, uh, there are several, it's according to what I'm painting on. Uh, I have one that I have never, well I have, I've put it up for sale, but I put on a price sale enough that if I got it, I'd be happy and uh, you know, be glad that I sold it. But I haven't sold it, but I did, I was at a show and then somebody called me at home about that particular painting and came out and looked at it, plus looked at all the other paintings that I had. Um, and it is, uh, it's, a, it's a painting of parrots and it's called Intruder in Paradise. And it, it, it's a play on words, actually. And it came from my children walking in and saying, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to, um, to design something to put in this bank show or something along that line. And she would, I had the parrot sitting on boxes and she says, well, why don't you put them on something else? And so I thought about it and I said, I'll do a play on words and I'll put it as Paradise instead of Paradise. And the intruder is a snake, but you can, and, and the dice have snake eyes on them. And um, the, the snake is coming around the, the dice, but you don't see the snake's eyes, because I think that's a bit too much, you know. I don't like snakes anyway. <laughs>